false color, AKA predator vision. Here are seven situations where you'll use false color. Number one, sunset shots. When shooting sunset shots, things can be a little tricky. Since the sun is so bright and the light varies, using false color will give you an accurate representation of what you're shooting so nothing is blown out or too underexposed. Number two, interrogation scenes. When filming an interrogation scene, you're usually dealing with one big light source. Things can get a bit dark in certain areas that you may not catch while on production up until post. Using false color helps pinpoint those tricky black points in your image so you can then, if need be, crush them in post. Number three, film noir. If you're a fan of classic films like I am, you know film noir is filled with several blacks and shadows. Using false color can help you see exactly how bright your blacks are hitting the image so you have complete control. With that being said, false color can be a huge tool when you're doing some complex, low-key lighting. And number four is green screens. Lighting a green screen takes very precise and clean lighting. So using false color will let you see if your green screen is evenly lit or if you have any underexposed or overexposed spots. Number five, night shots. This is where predator vision really kicks in. Lighting at night requires a lot of detail. Since it's so dark out, false color will let you understand which part of your shot is too dark so your footage doesn't end up so noisy. I mean, come on, it's noisy footage, guys. It's not good. Number six, product shots. Product shots require some crazy lighting. Since you are lighting for a product, you want that product to stick out as much as possible. Using false color will allow you to see if your product is the brightest part of your image, having it stand out becoming the center of attention. Number seven are interviews. When lighting for any interview session, your main focus should always be your subject. To get even more specific, your subject's skin tones. You want your skin tones to sit somewhere between 50 to 70 IRE, depending on the talent's skin tones. 70 around if your talent's white, 60 if they're Asian or Mexican, 50 if they're black. The point is, when it comes to capturing images, understanding how false color works will save you lots of time in post and is a tool to only get you one step closer to a more appealing image. But what do you guys think? What are some other situations where you might use false color? Drop a comment below and the best comment will get a free Aperture M9. This is Boimer from the A-Team. Until next time, boys and girls, happy filming.